Hello, I'm going to show you how to use Keynote, the Macintosh version of PowerPoint, to make your one slide, three minute presentation for Scholars Ignite. So I've opened up Keynote, so this is the symbol down here for Keynote, and I'm going to create a new document. You have lots of different types of presentations, so I'm going to simply pick this presentation and I click Choose. Now there are lots of programs we can use for recording audio. Um, some of them are expensive. Um, Camtasia, ScreenFlow, uh, Screencast-O-Matic is free. So there are lots of different software programs that you can use with Keynote. Keynote is just to create the slide. But you might think, well, I want to add audio to the slide. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you an example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create my slide first, and this is called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I recorded my daughter's um, holiday concert. So this is the Ramblewood Middle School Orchestra. I recorded my audio using my iPhone. So I just have to drag this audio file which I had on my desktop into the slide. So what's the software? What did I do on my iPhone? Well I used voice memos and after I finished the recording I clicked on the recording. It's a box with an arrow so there's a garbage can and edit and then there's a box with an arrow. If you hit that it allow you to then send it as a message or in an email. So I basically took the recording file off of voice memos and emailed it to myself. I then copied it to my desktop and then all I had to do was after I created my slide was drag the audio file into my slide. This is a very simple way to add an audio file to a keynote slide. Now the next important thing is how to then take this slide with the audio which I'll play in a minute, you have to now take this slide and be able to share it in a format, right? So let's hear the file first. So there's my audio file in my slide. You get a little hear a little bit of the orchestra. So I've now created my slide. My audio is there. I now have to figure out how I'm going to take this and put it, I had to save it in a format that I can now put into my discussion post. So I'm going to look at my notes. So first of all, I want to save it because I don't want to lose this, right? So let's do a file and I'm going to just save it. That's always good. We'll call it Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Santa Claus. We'll save it. Don't want to lose it. It's in my iCloud. Now, there are lots of different formats, so I can export to I can export to a PDF, PowerPoint, QuickTime, HTML images. If I export to QuickTime, it allow me to QuickTime is a um, is the Mac playing ver is a the Mac version of Windows Media Player. So you have all these different um, images. So Keynote 9, Images, HTML. QuickTime works really well, so I'm going to export my presentation. And I'm going to, instead of putting it on the cloud, I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to export. So it's now creating a movie. So it's going to have this slide with my audio embedded in it. So it won't show anything else, but we're going to then show you what it looks like on my desktop. So now that we're done with that, let's close this out. Here's my file right here. Oops. There we go. Here's my file. And now we have the audio in the file.
And now this file is something that I can then take to uh, Screencast and upload into Screencast. And then I have a link or I can load this file onto YouTube. So it's a QuickTime player that I can then load into different formats. So you saw that button. So basically once you've created it and saved it, then you have to export it into a format that you can upload into the discussion post. I hope this short video has helped you work a little bit better with Keynote and how to simply put an audio into Keynote so that you can load it into a discussion post for your Scholars Ignite assignment. Thank you.